chapter wise list of all my videos is available at this point for dvd pen drive please write an email to me these videos they do not require internet they play offline there is no problem of buffering and please subscribe to my channel for regular updates thank you thank you for your support once again In this tutorial we shall learn how to solve a quadratic equation by using the quadratic formula. In the previous lecture I told you how to solve a quadratic equation by using the direct shortcut method. And there I told you that the direct shortcut method is the fastest and instant method of finding the solution of a quadratic equation but i also told you that this direct shortcut method will fail in two cases one case is when the equation itself doesn't have any solution when the equation has no solution there is no method no technique under the direct shortcut method that will help you determine whether a equation has a solution or it doesn't have a solution so when you apply direct shortcut you are applying it under the assumption that the equation has a solution if the equation has no solution then you will go in a round robin round robin manner just circulating around the same path you won't be able to find out the solution or any end point by using the direct shortcut method the second case of failure would be when you are unable to find two numbers whose sum is known and whose product is known according to the technique that i discussed there so i'll i'll write it also whose sum is equal to b and whose product is equal to ac for details you should refer to that lecture So in case you are unable to find out two numbers whose sum is b and whose product is ac this direct shortcut method will not help you at all then i'll add one more disadvantage to that the disadvantage is that it requires an active brain and luck luck is something that strikes you at the moment it may strike it may not strike your brain has to be active it has to be super fast at that time now both these things are not guaranteed in a competitive exam because you have to continuously use your brain you are using your carbohydrate you are using your glucose continuously on various problems so the guarantee of this is not ensured now here if these three shortcomings you are aware then i propose a method of quadratic formula this quadratic formula method will always tell you whether the equation has a solution or not so this drawback is covered by the quadratic formula in a moment i will explain everything to you then in this case in the case of quadratic formula you don't have to find out any sum and product requirements you don't need an active brain you don't need luck also but the only drawback of the quadratic formula is that it tends to be a bit lengthy i'm sure it's not very lengthy but it is a bit lengthy maybe 10% more long time and it will take some time it might take some some time of yours to solve a quadratic by using the quadratic formula because the quadratic formula tends to be a bit lengthy then there is a psychological barrier also on many students because they are taken off when they see this square root now this whole thing can be overcome before examination this is a problem that can be solved during preparation but when you are having a problem that is in front of you at the time of the examination then that is bit difficult to solve so if you are able to make a lot of practice 
then you can learn to do things speedily and you can overcome your fear fear of the square root sign today i will take numerous examples with you to take up the quadratic formula now there is another thing i do not mean that you don't do this and do this only this is one of the alternatives that are available i will explain it in detail today i have explained that in detail in the previous lecture and in the next lectures i will give you a scheme a set of steps that will contain a mixture of the direct shortcut and a mixture of the quadratic formula so that by a good mixture you are able to optimally solve a quadratic equation today we are solely going to concentrate on the use of the quadratic formula suppose this is our quadratic equation in the most standard form ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0 with a not equal to 0 the solution to this equation by the quadratic formula is given by this formula that the roots are minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a this is the quadratic formula that gives you the roots of this equation in just one formula form obviously you don't need any brain for this you only need the calculation skills for this some people find it very easy to go by this method especially when there is a crisis of time in an examination let us now understand this in detail the various steps involved i have already explained this formula in one of my initial lectures now we are simply applying this formula to solve certain questions and let us see how to do that systematically so let us start with our first question x square plus x minus 12 equal to 0 the first step in this case should be step 1 these are the systematic steps that you can remember for your story a is equal to 1 we isolate we see that a is 1 ax square the coefficient of x square is 1 b is also 1 and c is equal to minus 12 this we have done by comparing the given equation with the most standard form we see that a is 1 b is 1 and c is minus 12 So first of all you should isolate the values of a b and c Now for the second step step 2 Here you should find out the value of discriminant d is equal to b square minus 4ac You should find out the value of this quantity which we can now see by substitution b square will be 1 square minus 4 multiplied by what is a a is 1 and what is c c is minus 12 so this we can see is 1 now 4 and 12 multiplied are 48 and this minus and minus becomes plus so we get it as 48 and which is becoming as 49 so once you get the discriminant if d is less than 0 then we can outrightly say that this equation doesn't have any solution it is very easy to find out at least know that there is no solution just in the start by using the quadratic formula if a quadratic equation has no solution we don't have to go any further this is the biggest advantage of using the quadratic formula there is no way in which you can claim or conclusively say that a quadratic equation has no solution if you are using the direct shortcut method this is the best advantage of this method over the other method now in this step 3 the roots will be we can straight away write that the roots will be plus minus square root of d by 2a as you already know this represents two numbers one is formed by minus b plus square root of d the other is formed by minus b minus square root of d 
this is the most compact form in which we can write two numbers in one figure only. So we'll write it as minus b is what? Minus 1 just substitution. Retain plus minus. What is square root of d? d is 49. Its square root we can see is 7. And divide it by 2 into what is a. a is also 1. So we'll write it as this. So this we can condense as minus 1 plus minus 7 by 2. Now we can segregate the two numbers. The two numbers will be minus 1 plus 7 by 2 comma. Now bring the minus 1 minus 7 by 2. So this is the two numbers segregated out of this. You can see that in one I have taken plus 7. In the other I have taken minus 7. Everything else remains the same. So this becomes equal to minus 1 and 7 will be 6 and 6 by 2 will be 3 and minus 7 minus 1 will make it minus 8 and by 2 will make it minus 4. So this is the answer. This method involves substitutions. It might be marginally long but as I see it involves faster calculation ability which can be developed by practice. Let us take another example now. Our next example is solve this equation 3x square minus 2x plus 4 equal to 0. Now believe me that this equation is impossible to solve by using the shortcut method which we explained in the previous lecture. Why? Because no numbers exist. No numbers exist whose sum is equal to minus 2 that is b and whose product whose product is 4 into 3 equal to 12. No numbers exist. So if no numbers exist you cannot use the shortcut method for solving this quadratic equation. If you ever try you will not succeed if you apply that shortcut method to this. So here obviously we have to go by the longer method and let us see how we do it. Isolate a, b and c. a is 3, this 3, b is minus 2 and c is 4. After isolating them in the second step, this as we already know is step 1. Step 2, you have to find d equal to b square minus 4ac. So we'll calculate it. b is minus 2. So it will be minus 2 square minus 4 multiplied by what is a? a is 3. And what is c? c is 4. Four minus 2 square will be 4. And this is minus 4, 3 is a 12, 48. So this solves to minus 44. And as we already know, if d is less than 0, no solution exists. So we can see that by the quadratic formula, if we follow this approach, we can at least find out that no solution exists in just 1 or 2 seconds. In fact, a question could be there in your exam which says that this is the quadratic equation and these are the four options and one of the options says no solution exists. So you can straightway start by solving for d and immediately see if it is negative then we can say no solution exists. Let us now move on to our next question. The next question is square root of 2x square plus 7x plus 5 square root of 2 equal to 0. So in our first step, we will start by isolating a. a is equal to square root of 2. b is equal to 7. And c is equal to 5 square root of 2. And in our step 2, let us find out d d is known to be b square minus 4ac 
is equal to this is 7 square minus 4 multiplied by a is square root of 2 and c is 5 into square root of 2. So, this becomes 7 square is 49 minus if you see this 4 into 5 will be 20 and square root of 2 into square root of 2 will be 2 only. So, what I get is 49 minus 40 which is equal to 9. So, this is what I get for D. Now, the solution will be minus B plus minus square root of D by 2A. Let us put the values. Minus B will be minus 7 plus minus square root of D. D is 9. So, square root will be 3. Square root of 9 is 3 by 2a. a is square root of 2. So, this is what we have. Now, we will segregate this into two numbers. First number will be minus 7 plus 3 by 2 square root of 2 which is equal to minus 4 by 2 square root of 2 which is equal to minus 2 by square root of 2 because this 2 and 2 cancel. And then obviously we can take up square root of 2 above. So, it will become minus square root of 2. This is the first root. The second root done that way by 2 square root of 2 which is equal to minus 10 by 2 square root of 2. You can now cancel out. It will be minus 5 by square root of 2. Now, this can be put into a better form. Multiply by square root of 2 above and below. So, it becomes minus 5 square root of 2 by 2. So, this is the second root. This is the first root. Obviously, this method is a bit long, but it guarantees that you will reach the end point. Let me take another question. This question says 3x square plus 8x minus 35 equal to 0. You can try solving this by the shortcut method. You will see that the things they will depend ultimately on luck. Your ability to find two numbers whose sum is 8 and whose product is minus 35 into 3 which is equal to minus 105. It depends on your ability to quickly find out those numbers. So, if you want to go quickly, then let us come to our quadratic formula. Isolate A 3, B is 8 and C is minus 35. You have isolated them. A is 3, B is 8 and C is minus 35. So, now, first of all, we'll find D. D is equal to B square minus 4 AC, which is equal to 8 square minus 4 into 3 into minus 35. As you can see, I have substituted the values. B is 8, A is 3 and C is minus 35. So, what I get is 64. This minus and minus will turn into plus. So, I will have 12 multiplied by 35. So, which I can see is 64 plus 420. I'll multiply them on the rough side and I'll see that they are 420 and ultimately I get is 484. So, you can see that we have two options. Either we work on this multiplication or we strain our brains to work on this one. This choice is obviously yours, how you want to proceed. But as far as I believe, this will be still easier to do as compared to struggling with this one. Okay, now I have D with me. Now I have to find out the solution. So, how will I say? Minus B plus minus square root of D by 2A. These are the two numbers. So, I will write it equal to minus b minus 8 plus minus square root of 484. Yes, of course, I have to remember the square roots of few common numbers. 
and I already know that 484 is same as 22 square. So this has to be remembered and usually everybody who prepares for bank exams and all, he always remembers the squares and cubes of a few common numbers. Okay, so here square root of d will be 22 and I will divide it by 2 multiplied by what is a, a is 3. So I will isolate the two numbers now. This is minus 8 plus 22 by 6, one number. So which is equal to 14 by 6, which is equal to 7 by 3. This is one root. And the second number, minus 8 minus 22 by 6, this minus sign. And this becomes minus 30 by 6 which ultimately becomes minus 5. So this is how we can use our quadratic formula. And in case you are curious about these two numbers, the two numbers are 15 and minus 7. Their product is minus 105 and 15 minus 7 is 8. So that luck if you have, then this would have been definitely a lightning fast. But in case you are pressed for time, then you can definitely come on for this quadratic formula. It will lead you to solution by this way or that way. Now this is all about this lecture. In the next lecture, I will present a method, a general sequence of steps so that you can solve a quadratic equation by using a mixture of this and the quadratic formula that will be an optimal way of finding your way through an examination. We'll close it right now. Thank you.